Good morning, Misfits and Dreamers. Bob here. As you can see, I drank way too much caffeine this morning. I'm kidding. Anyway, we are going to make omelets out of the leftovers of the steak fajitas we had last night. So come on, let's get started. All right, guys. Pretty much all the work you did last night prepping. Um, you have you had your steak left over. Um, basically, if you, you just slice it like you would normally would for fajitas. Still have your peppers and onions. The only difference tonight and whatnot is going to be the fact of mushrooms. You still have your cheese and you still have your pico de gallo. Anyway, sausage patties are already done. They were cooked earlier. Bacon is on the grill. So I'll show you some of the stuff that are tricks to the trade that you can get by of doing so everything is pretty much ready to go by the time you have breakfast. Alright, pretty well all right, pretty well self-explanatory. Butter and your mushrooms. You're going to saute them. Let them cook down. All right, so now that your mushrooms are cooked down a little bit, you add your peppers and onions that you had last night tender crisp because you're going to now complete cook them so they're soft so they go in the omelet. And as you can see, wish we had smell vision on YouTube, guys. But this is thick sliced maple bacon that we buy here. God, it smells so good in here. All right, as you can see, your peppers and onions and your mushrooms are pretty much cooked down. Your bacon is bacon is frying, turning nice and crisp. All right, you add your steak because you want all of this hot when you go to make all of this hot when you go to make the omelet. And yes, folks, that's night and white satin in the background. One of the great classic songs. All right, let it heat up. All right, guys. As you can see, we're pretty well done. So what you're going to do is put this into a bowl, put a piece of aluminum foil over it, and let it cook the rest of the way, and, and it will stay warm for your omelet. All right, guys, I think you remember how to do this. It's three uh, eggs, a splash of water. Incorporate as much air as you can into the eggs. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, he has a cow plate. As like last time, let your pan get a little bit hot before you pour your egg mixture in it. All right, pour your eggs in, and as you can see along the edges, it's starting to bubble, and that is exactly what you want it to do. All right, as you can see, your eggs are starting to set. Move your pan a little bit so it doesn't stick, and then we will, you'll put your steak, your peppers, and your cheese, and fold it, and let it heat up. All right, guys. On the plate. There you go. There is your steak fajita omelet. We're going to add some add some pico de gallo. See, this way you even get your own vegetables. Pico de gallo. All right, there you be. You had sour cream if you choose to with the pico de gallo. Two sausage, two bacon. If you are new here, please subscribe, hit the notification button so you don't miss any more of my cooking vlogs or anything else I post. Uh, leave me a comment, and if you would like, you'd be more than welcome to share this video. And I will see you in the next vlog, guys. Have a great day.